Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Chicken and Corn Soup made in the Tefal Cook for me. This is so easy, so delicious and so economical. The ingredients are in the recipe box below, there aren't too many of them, so let's get started. We're going to be using the manual function on the Tefal Cook for me, which means that we're going to set it to browning. Okay, well that's preheating, we're just going to tip our potato flour into our water, mix that all around, it mixes in really quite easily. This is also a gluten-free recipe and it just gives the soup a little bit of body at the very end. We sliced our garlic, diced our onions, and we're just using chicken legs with the skin on. There's plenty of flavor in the chicken bones and the skin, and we're going to make the most of that. So to our tea for cook for me, we just add toasted sesame oil, and that's what we're going to be using as our browning medium, in with our chicken legs. And we're just gonna brown those off a little bit. Okay, after about five or seven minutes, our chicken is getting a nice bit of colour out. We're going to add most of our remaining ingredients. So it's in with our onion, which we have just diced. A couple of cloves of garlic that we have just sliced. Our corn kernels. Now you could use fresh corn if you have it. And we're just going to keep that browning for a few more minutes just to get some of the rawness off that onion. Now that onion is starting to get a little translucent. It's not browning at all. And it's going to give it a lovely, sweet, delicious flavor. So now it is in with our soy sauce. And we're going to adjust our seasoning at the end because we don't want to over season it. That's the best way to do it. Our chicken stock has actually got seasoning in it as well. So you can't really tell what it tastes like until it's at the end. And I'm not going to taste something with partially raw chicken in it. So in with some freshly cracked pepper now. We've just got a mixed variety of peppercorns. Now our cream corn goes in now. We've already sliced our spring onions or our green onions and we're not going to add those until the very last. That'll add that little burst of freshness and color without turning into something that resembles grass clippings because it's going to be cooked too long for the vegetables to be at their peak. So now, just add a bit of a stir around and we add our chicken stock all at once. Now, just bring that up to the boil. We add our eggs, our spring onions, and our potato flour mixed with water at the very last. So at this stage, all we need to do is bring this back up to the boil again. It's still on the browning function. Then we're going to close the lid, cook it for about 20 minutes, remove those chicken pieces, and then just pull the flesh off with a couple of forks, almost like a, a pulled chicken technique. Return it back to the tea for cook for me and continue with the recipe. Okay, we've just come to a gentle simmer now. We're just going to close that lid. Turn it to the manual function. Quick cooking, yes. We'll give it 15 minutes and test it. I'll turn it on. Immediate start. Okay, it's finished now. We're just going to open it up. You see how bubbly hot it is. We're just going to fetch out our chicken pieces, which are just about falling off the bone already. And we're going to separate those out. Being careful not to scratch our non-stick surface. Okay, and you can see how they're really quite moist and tender now. That's keeping warm. We'll just pop this to one side, grab a couple of forks, separate this meat from the bones. Look at that. Sticky, moist, tender. If you let that soup get cold, it will actually step from the gelatine or the collagen that's actually present. Now, the bones and the gristles and the tendons and everything that are present in these chicken legs have actually contributed to the flavor. If you remove the bones from the meat to start with, you're not going to get all that delicious flavor that the bones actually impart. So this is why I do it this way. And it's it's a, a good deal easier to remove the chicken and then chop it after the meat has been cooked. And you see just how really ridiculously soft and tender that is. Now, if you don't want to eat the skin for health reasons, by all means remove that. It's quite easy to do that when the chicken is raw. So really very, very, very small amount of waste there. And of course it's boneless and it's gluten free. Full of fiber and carbohydrates with the potato flour and the heavy dose of corn. But if you're not a corn lover, you're watching the wrong video. Let's remove those bones. Okay, this is still bubbly hot. We're just going to return our chicken with a couple of stray corn kernels back to our delicious stock. And with it on the keep warm function, if you wanted to, you could actually have it like it is, but we're going to pop in a couple of eggs Give those a little whiz around. Put in some of our potato flour mixed with the water. You're going to have to stir that again because it actually settles. 
and the heat of that pot will actually thicken that. We don't want the real thick, it's not supposed to be really thick. We just want to take that, that watery texture away from it. Okay, and you can see it's just marginally thickened up there. Now we're going to adjust it for seasoning. This is the time to do that before it gets too hot. Needs nothing. It's chicken and corn and onion and garlic and mm -mm, it's delicious. Now don't forget, you can also add extra chicken to this and cook it. Remove those chicken pieces and have them tomorrow with a salad or something. Because they're cooked in the chicken stock, they've got a delightful flavor and they're also imparting more flavor into the soup. So it's a very economical way of cooking. And now we just get our eggs, which have just been really lightly beaten. Don't go too crazy with that. And we're just gonna drop this into this hot soup and stir it. And it's gonna make like little strands because the soup is really quite hot. And you can see it's actually thickened up a bit. That's all you have to do off now sprinkle in some of our spring onions and reserve a couple for garnish and that's it how simple and delicious is that and probably less time than it takes to drive to your local takeaway all natural you know exactly what's in it and it tastes amazing check that out big chunks of chicken heaps of corn and there you have it cheeky richos tfl cook for me chicken and corn chinese soup hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration if you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos we've had a bit of a break with technical issues but we are back you can expect to see a great deal more of us in 2017 thanks for watching okay let's have a little taste shall we Chicken, corn, spring onions, little slivers of onion and garlic. Mm -mm -mm. It's light enough to have as an entree and hard enough to have as a main meal. Thanks for watching. Mm.